While Florida Governor Ron DeSantis works to legally censor teachings about historic and systemic racism in his state, an incident in Tennessee this week is showing us what can happen when people disregard that history. On Tuesday, a bill in the state legislature that would allow inmates to be executed by firing squad was brought up for debate before the Tennessee House's Criminal Justice Committee. One Republican lawmaker, State Representative Paul Shirell, expressed support for the bill but felt it didn't go far enough. Now, I was just wondering about, uh, could I put an amendment on that? It would include hanging by a tree. An amendment to allow lynchings as a method of state-sponsored execution. Representative Sherrell either somehow didn't know this history or chose to recall it on purpose. But lynch mobs in Confederate states killed more than 2,800 people, about one person a week, between 1882 and 1930. 214 people were lynched in the state of Tennessee alone during this period. State Representative Shirell has since apologized and says he regrets using, quote, very poor judgment. But his Democratic colleague, State Representative G.A. Hardaway, had this to say. When I heard the statement, I was sad and I was mad at the same time. I couldn't believe that I was hearing that. And of all committees, a justice committee, the irony, a justice committee, and I don't need to hear anybody talk about it wasn't me, that I wasn't alive back then. I wasn't alive back then either, but I can assure you that multi-generational trauma still exists, not in only myself, but in all black folks who are in America today. Back with us is Jelani Cobb. Um, this just to me seems like such an expression of, of, of why we need to talk about systemic racism and historic racism, and also is a full expression of what the right wants to be able to say uncensored, unfettered. Why do I have to worry about what the snowflake liberals mm -hmm. think of me? I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out there with my vigilante justice ideas. History be damned. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the worst uh, enactment of the, the idea that those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Um, you know, as I point out, if you want a really kind of depressing interpretation of that, is that sometimes we repeat history precisely because people have learned from it. Yes. Meaning that there are people who observe the worst of the past and want to actually drag that into the present. Um, but when you look at the history of that state, you know, the indefensible, the Memphis riot of 1866, where black women were raped in mass and black men were murdered in the aftermath of the Civil War. The uh, anti-lynching crusade that Ida B. Wells, the, the uh, early uh, journalist who fought against lynching, uh, began uh, when three of her friends were lynched uh, in the state of Tennessee. We could walk through the whole history, the whole blood-soaked history of what happened in that state and other Confederate states and other states that were outside of the Confederacy, for that matter. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it is a, a, a derogatory insult uh, to the people who actually know what happened in that history and who are the ancestors, rather the descendants, of the people who, who suffered in that way. Yeah, and I think the Representative Hardaway brings up this really important point. It's not just that no one should be ignorant, but saying things like that, infl it continues a cycle of multi-generational right. trauma. Like, just the utterance of that alone mm -hmm. is wrong. And I think people don't, there is, there is no conception of the human cost of, of even proposing an idea like that on the Justice Committee. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where the impunity has to, and that's precisely why we're trying, that's why you have diversity and inclusion training, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you teach people history. That's why we talk about racism, is so that people understand how totally unacceptable it is to even, I mean, to think, it, it just the idea of suggesting lynching as a method of execution seems unfathomable in the year 2023, but here's where we are. That's where we are.